watch out, we pushing the murder out. Me and my nigga went spicy up, and we going to murder. All the bands up in this safe, I got that murder cake. Ten, seven niggas up on that mission, I bet I murder eight. These niggas suicidal. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Young Water, and I'm reporting guys live at the dealership with some more behind the scenes. We're gonna be talking about my vending machine, and it's a nice side hustle. It's a business that I've been doing for a little bit over a year. It's something that I enjoy. I take the time, I go to Sam's Club, I restock it, I buy the drinks, and I, it's, it's a great way of passive income every single month. We're at a great location. It's hot in California. It gets about a little over 100 degrees here in the summertime. We try to keep the vending machine stocked with Gatorades, waters, and a bunch of sodas. Today I already started um, going ahead and just filling up what I already had here at the dealership. Today I'm gonna be going over, is it worth it? Is doing a vending machine, getting one, investing in one, worth it? So, we'll start off on getting the vending machine. Finding the vending machine. Is it expensive to get the vending machine? It sure is. These things are not cheap. They start around $1,500. I've seen them on offer up in Craigslist. They range from anywhere from 1,000 bucks all the way up to five, 6,000 bucks. It depends on the technology. If it has a handle that comes up, slides in and drops it. If it's a nice fridge, a snack machine, half and half. There's a whole bunch of different variations. Um, my vending machine was handed down to me as a gift. I'm super fortunate and lucky to have this passed down to me from my uncle. Shout out Blow and Tell Smoke Shop in Sacramento. That's where I got it. It was actually at a hookah lounge and um, he had like five, six of these things. They were all just chilling in the back and he was like, you know what, Wadi, this is for you cuz oh, I love you, man. And that shit just literally uh, made my day and it gave me a little side hustle and I've been pushing through ever since. So. Is it worth it to invest in one? The price is just up to you to get one. Um, if you can afford going out of the way and paying a thousand up to five thousand dollars, you get what you pay for. So if you go go lower on the price, you might get one that messes up all the time or gets stuck or you're constantly having to go to the location and check on it. This one is a really expensive one. This one's like a three thousand dollar machine. I'm gonna go ahead and just close it real quick and show you guys what it really looks like. On the outside, it's a nice Snapple machine. And on this side, it has a nice tape that says Snapple. And it used to have, so here it says can of soda for $1, $1 bottle of water for $1. I put my cash app barcode. This is a smart way for if you are at your location most of the time, it pretty much has my cash app and my tag, and it says ask the manager to open. So you can do things like that since I do not have a credit card scanner. It makes it more accessible to people that come in and out of the dealership. Um, the machine used to have a whole bunch of hookah writing over here and then I just ended up removing it and giving it a little bit of my taste by adding a little Carfax sticker here at the bottom since we're out of dealership. So um, get in the machine is up to you guys. See what you want to spend and what you feel comfortable with. Um, we're gonna be talking about stocking it. Where you go buy your products is totally up to you. I go to Sam's Club, my family has a membership, and through our dealership, we are tax exempt. So we get a really good deal, we get a lot of quantity at a really low price, so we get to stock it up at wholesale and sell for retail, which is around a dollar for a soda, two dollars for a Gatorade, a dollar for a bottle of water, three dollars for a Red Bull, that's where my price is. And, um, yeah, I mean, I really enjoy it. I make about, are you ready, drum roll please? Anywhere from two to $500 a month just from this one machine at this one location because we are at a busy location. We sell cars almost every day. We have a lot of families that come in here with all their kids. Just yesterday, I had a, a family come in here. A mother bought six sodas for all her kids. We have that happen all the time over here. If it, is it worth it? Ask yourself about your location. The most important thing is location. I can't emphasize this enough. Location, location, location. It is all about where you want to set it up, where you want to have it. Are you gonna be able to go there all the time and feel comfortable stocking up your drinks? And it, are, is there gonna be a lot of traffic? Is the place a dead dealership? Do they not sell a bunch of cars? Or is it a place that's popping and they sell a bunch of cars and they have a nice little waiting room area like this. 
So a good advantage for our vending machine area, it's right over here. We have a nice little sitting area with a nice little TV set up, a little trash can for our guests to come back, sit back, relax, have a drink, and chill in the AC while we work on their car sale here inside my office, here at the car dealership. So we really wanted to just break down the benefits of the vending machine. It's a great passive income, way for you to earn income, literally doing nothing by sitting back and stocking this thing up probably like once a month. That's like what I do. I go to the store once a month and stock it up because I'm all constantly selling the sodas and drinks and waters and Gatorades. Um, it's gonna be about your location, where you have the vending machine, do you feel comfortable there, is it have traffic, that's very important. So for me, it is very well worth it. I enjoy doing the vending machine. I do not, I started off with a snack one that had half snacks, half sodas, me and my buddy went half and half, we partnered up, went on offer up, we found the one we, we loved, it was 1500, we went with a really low priced one and it ended up messing up a lot. The drink side kept getting stuck. It would keep the sodas all super cold, but it wouldn't dispense them correctly. The snack side, on the other hand, on the left side of the machine, everything would work perfect all the time. The chips would drop, the Snickers would drop, the Twix would drop, all the snacks would drop. But you get what you pay for. I always want to remind you guys, the most important thing is you get what you pay for. You go the cheap route, you might get the cheap route. You go the nice, I mean, uh, it's you get what you pay for. Just remember that. I love you guys. You guys are my subscribers. I would not be here today if it wasn't for you guys. So if you're still watching the video, go ahead and smash the like button. If I get a thousand likes on any one of my videos, I will quit smoking cigarettes. I'm trying to kick the habit. I got two little girls at home and I'm just trying to better myself so I can last on this earth longer and make some more YouTube videos for you guys. Let's go. Basu, what's going on? Say what's up to YouTube, big dog. <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys, have a blessed day. Thanks for watching.